now that it's been a few days since this topic has already been like gone, talked about, and done with, because I love talking about dead topics, I'm here to talk about the Neon situation and how I think it's absolutely hilarious. If you don't know who Neon is, be glad that you don't because honestly he's just one of the trashiest content creators on the platform, whether it be on YouTube, on TikTok, on kick because that's where he streams doesn't really matter well then again kick is filled with a bunch of really trashy streamers to begin with but the main thing that i knew about neon was that he t liked to talk a lot of smack and like to get into confrontations with people one of the biggest clips that i remember seeing of him was like a year or so ago and he was talking about how he's gonna meet up with someone like in real life and he's gonna like I think pay him, pay them money, or he will pay them money if he sh if they show up and beat the shit out of him, right? And it turns out I don't know if it's like a different clip entirely or if it's like a different person entirely, but this is just what I remember seeing from that video from a while ago. And that clip played of Neon when he was on stream, and then it cuts to him getting jumped and I think potentially beaten up by a group of guys, and they take all of his clothes, they take all of his like they take his shoes, they take his money, everything, and they make him say that he's a bitch and all that stuff. That was the only thing I really knew him for, but the main reason why he's actually as popular as he is is because he does a lot of clip farming. And in a sense, this totally makes sense to do because plenty of people get very popular very quickly by clip farming. Queso, whether or not he does that intentionally or not, has been clip farmed religiously, and that's why I know of him, but I actually find him to be pretty funny, and I do find the clips to be pretty funny. But for an example, that was why I Show Speed got really famous really quickly, is because he got really popular off of people taking clips from his live streams and uploading that onto their YouTube Shorts channels or on Instagram Reels or on TikTok. Wherever you can upload short form content, that's where I Show Speed got really popular. And the same thing essentially happened with Neon. And that is why he's so popular. That's why he has a fan base. But the fan base that he has totally hates him. So it's very ironic that he has this fan base because it's not really a fan base. It's mostly just a bunch of people that really hate him. Well, it turns out a few days ago he had actually gotten banned off of the streaming platform Kick because I think he was in like a Discord call. Some people were saying he was like an Omega call, but Omega's fucking dead. So I think he was in a Discord call with like some kid and like the kid was obviously a minor. He was underage, maybe around like maybe like 12 or 13 years old and the kid was saying some pretty messed up stuff you know saying like this that and the other i'm not gonna really repeat what he says he, he says some pretty messed up sh stuff though kid, so, something that a kid really shouldn't be saying and what does neon then decide to do oh he decides that he's gonna go ahead and stoop down to his level and not be the adult in the situation and say that he's going to uh sexually assault him uh through his rectum and uh that was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back and he proceeded to get banned off of kick and uh everyone was talking about it and a lot of people were very happy about it because he's not very well liked and then he made the apology video that you're probably seeing a little bit of footage on and uh basically he just says stuff like he regretted saying what he said. He didn't mean what he said. He's this, that, and the other, and yada, yada. You know, he's he made a severe and continuous lapse in his judgment, guys. Like, come on. Like, as you can clearly tell from the apology that he made that's on his YouTube channel, you know, he he, he was very sorry about the situation, you know. He, he, he definitely didn't mean to say what he said towards that kid, or else why would he have said it at all, you know. Just, he didn't really mean to say it. He just thought it was funny. It was for the content, you know. It's all about the content at the end of the day, guys, you know. It's, it's funny to say how we're going to annually assault somebody, uh, on the internet, you know, despite their age, but the fact that it was to a child, come on, it's just for content. People, people have been saying this for decades on Call of Duty, you know, so it's like, what's really the big deal, you know? It's like, who cares? If I'm being completely honest, though, uh, the apology video could have been made a little bit better. Uh, so my rating for this apology video is, uh, I'm gonna have to give it a 3 out of 10. Not enough violins. Yeah, sarcasm aside, he did not get off lightly with this. Uh, got banned. People on Twitter were immediately ridiculing him and thought that the situation was hilarious because it was pretty funny. But then, uh, almost as soon as he got banned, he got almost immediately unbanned. And now he's free to start live streaming back on Kick. He already did a live stream where I think he was talking about the situation a little bit and in the clip I thought was kind of weird because in the same stream that he was further apologizing for his behavior and for what he had said to the kid he was like 
excited and popping off about the amount of viewers that he was getting on the stream. Not that the stream, like people, or not that the people who are watching him were really watching for him specifically. They're watching him to laugh at him and to make fun of him. Nobody, he even asked if anybody in the chat had seen the apology video. And then like a bunch of them were just saying like, no, like none of them saw the video. They just were excited that they can go back to laughing at the punching bag that they had been watching for however long that they had been watching Neon. And that's basically all he really is. He's just the internet's constant punching bag that we can all laugh at together for being an idiot. And that's basically all he's really known for. That's all he's ever really going to be known for. And I would say that's pretty sad, but you know, people have made a career off of worse. And uh, I mean, not that I'm really condoning that he has this viewer base because I don't think he really deserves it. Because I think there might be some people who do listen to what he has to say to, to like the fullest extent of what he's saying. And then they do take it very seriously. But I just, I just think that it's funny how had this whole thing happened and then, and that people are still laughing at him regardless. They were laughing at him before he got banned. They were laughing at him when he was banned and they're still laughing at him and making fun of him after he was reinstated to the platform. It's pretty messed up that he was already reinstated back to kick because I think all it really just shows is that all you need to do is just make a simple apology for something that you did and then kick will reinstate you back onto the platform. And it almost seems like you can just do pretty much whatever you want. You can kill someone on live stream, like right in front of the camera and then kick will be like, oh yeah, let's support that. Let's support the streamer and shout them out because that's really good content. That's really good engagement for our platform because I guess that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Yeah, just, I thought that the situation was really funny. The, the fact that this, like, kid that I only knew for getting his ass beat has a viewer base and people actually watch him, but they don't watch him because they like him. They watch him because they like laughing at him. And it's pretty sad, you know, if you think about it like that, but I guess he's getting what he wants. He's getting the attention that he wants and... I guess he just doesn't see a huge problem with it, you know, which uh, I guess he just doesn't care. You know, if he doesn't care, then I guess people are just going to continue to keep doing what they're doing, which is continuing to make fun of him, continuing to laugh at him. And if they can, beat the shit out of him on camera. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say about the situation as a whole. Like, obviously, like the whole thing is was really dumb, right? Should he have been unbanned? No. Do I think he deserves a platform? No. Do I think that he should continue to keep making content and live streams no not really but like does it affect me in any way specifically no not really because i'm just going to continue to keep ignoring him like i already had been so it doesn't really affect me at the end of the day but people are going to keep talking about him and ultimately he's going to win so yeah that's pretty much it for me it was really funny uh i laughed a lot during this time but ultimately not much really changed so that's pretty much it for me. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.